Today we are hiking West Bond Mountain and Mount Zeeland in the Twin Range of New Hampshire. Our first leg of the hike takes us on the Zeeland Trail. Looks nice, comes in too. 2.8 miles to the Zeeland Falls Hut. Then we're going to take the uh, Twin Way all the way to the junction with the Blanco Trail up and over Zeeland, which you will tag on the way out or on the way in. I already hiked this, just trying to bump my buddy up on this list. Yep. Then we'll take the Barncliffe Trail in the West Bond Spur to the summit of West Bond, my 47th 4,000 footer. Then if, you, then if you feel like it, we'll uh, go over and hit up Mount Bond. Oh, we're gonna do it. Hell yeah. And my yeah. buddy Ray's joining us again. So this should be another really cool, really interesting. Continuing along the Zealand Trail. This trail definitely is one of the easiest in the whites. I mean, only has like 450 feet of elevation gain over two and a half, 2.6 miles, I think. So the grade is never really steep. Heck, it's never even moderate. And I remember this bridge from when I did Mount Zealand last year. That was the last time I hiked from this end. Very, very Got nice. Got a neat little miniature brook crossing along the trail. Very nice. And onward we go to Zealand Pond and the Zealand Falls Hut. Oh. We are at a bridge crossing of what I believe is the Zealand River. That's kind of cool up there. Zealand Pond should be coming up pretty soon. Then after that, the uh, Zealand Falls Hut will be coming up. Although we have a short but steep ascent to it once we hit the junction with the Twin Way. Shouldn't be an issue though. Alright, here's the water crossing that we actually have to rock hop. Perfect. Wow. Now we, we are go. walking along a bridge around the Zealand Pond. And there's a beautiful ridge right there. We're basically walking through a nice little valley. I've got big balls. Alright, we've reached a junction with the A to Z trail. This goes over up the Willie Range to the Mount Tom Spur, the Avalon Trail, and eventually to 302, maybe 15 miles from the beginning of Zealand Road. We are half a mile from the Zealand Hut. So, on we go, and I will meet you at the junction with the Twin Way and the well, Ethan Pond Trail. We reach the junction with the Twin Way Trail and the Ethan Pond Trail, both of which are part of the Appalachian Trail. And we will be going 0.2 miles this way to the Zealand Falls hut, where we'll take a little breather, and we'll go like maybe, I have to say five or so miles to the uh, beginning of the Bond Cliff Trail. Then from there we'll t go to the West Bond Spur, then we'll go to the summit. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. We are at the beginning of the Zealand Falls. I think there's a better view of them a little up the trail, but really nice here. So, good to meet you at that better view, and then I'll meet you at the Zealand hut. All right, now this is the uh, steep approach to the Zealand hut that I remember. <sighs> Pretty short though. Should be at the hut. This is the that. Zealand Falls hut. Showed this in my Mount Zealand video from last year, but hey, I show it to you again. Nice place. Also has a nice view out into a uh, Zealand Notch and Kerrigan Notch. So. Now we're going to continue up to Zeeland Mountain on the Twin Way. I'll meet you farther up that trail. Twin Way Trail to Galehead Hut, but we're not going that far. No, we're just going as far as the Boncliffe Trail Junction, and we'll take the Boncliffe Trail over. Ready for this? Yeah, it should be. Get it done. Let's do it. Hi. And so begins the moderately steep climb up to the ridge line. However, once you get there, we'll get a little reward. About tens of mile off the trail is a spur path to an outlet called Z-Cliff, which is one of the best in the mountains. So, meet you far up the trail there.
still continuing our moderately steep and rough ascent up the Twinway to the Zee Z Cliff Outlook. Should be getting fairly close to it. We can just pass that little sag, the small stream crossing that I remember, where I saw somebody camping. So, camp. The woods have changed. You can see a light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak. So, I think we're almost to the Z Cliff Outlook. And I'll meet you once we get there. All right, we have reached the Z Cliff Outlook. As you can see, it's definitely one of the best views in the whites. Amazing. Over Straight th down. Over there, you got White Wall Mountain. And behind that, you got the uh, Lily Range covered in clouds. Right. And down there is Zeeland Notch. You can see the Ethan Pond Trail, kind of. At least I think. Out there is Mount Kerrigan, Low Spur, Anderson, Mount Anderson, and Lowell, and Kerrigan Notch. Now we were there two weeks ago. Kerrigan Notch, Mount Kerrigan. Over there you got the Hancocks. Somewhere out there I think you may have the Osceolas, I'm not sure. Anyway, we're gonna take a breather here and then we're gonna continue up the Zeeland Trail, uh, Ze Twinway Trail to uh, Mount Zeeland and then the Bonnet Cliff and West Bond Spurs to uh, West Bond. Wow, there's one steep drop. If it's wet and you slip, you're gonna fall a long way. Still nice nonetheless. All right, we're back out onto the Twinway Trail. That goes to the other end of the Z Cliff Loop. I'm back down to the hut, but our destination for the day is West Bond. That's our main destination. Our secondary destination is Mount Zealand, and if we feel like it, Mount Bond. First things first, let's hit Zealand. Oh, we reach a junction with the Z Cliff Trail. Goes down to uh, the Ethan Pond Trail at Zealand Notch. Don't think we're gonna take that though, because it's even steeper and rougher than the way we just came up. We're going to continue on the uh, Twinway Trail, another 1.6 miles, I believe, to the Zeeland Mountain Spur Path, and we'll take that to the uh, summer of Zeeland Mountain, and then from there. I already told this crap, so I don't know what I'm doing babbling. All right, right there is a spur to Z Cliff Pond. I think that's the last reliable water, other than the uh, Geo campsite. But got plenty of water. Plus, we can refill at a Zealand hut, so I think it should be good. On to yep, go. This is the steep part. I remember making the climb to Zealand. If I'm not mistaken. Ladder. Should be coming up relatively soon. We're going to climb this ladder. Going, going, going. Up. Yeah. yeah. Ah! <laughs> and Ray made it. On to be go to Zealand. We've reached a junction with the Zealand Mountain Spur Path. Point one mile to Zealand Mountain. That way. Now we'll meet you once you get there. All right, we've reached the summit of Zeeland Mountain, elevation 4,260 feet. It was a decent hike to get up here. The 1.2 mile section on the twin lane leaving the hut was pretty strenuous, but got there no problem. From there is relatively moderate to here. But yeah, what you see is what you get on Zeeland. Although West Bond, and if we go to Mount Bond, that'll be a lot better. So. Number four for you. Number four in the bag. What a disappointment up here. Kind of full of trees. And this is my number fourth peak revisited. So, On over to you're going to take our breather here, and then I will meet you farther down the uh, Twinway Trail to the Bond Cliff Trail. I have to climb up this. All right, we are now beginning the uh, descent to the gap between Zealand Mountain and Mount Geo. Should be about 250 feet of elevation loss, which we'll have to gain on the way back, and then about 500 feet, then about 500 feet of gain to the summit of Geo. Let's do it. We are now beginning the ascent toward Mount Geo and the start of the Bonkoff Trail. Geo 
is well over 4,000 feet, but isn't considered an official 4,000 footer due to the lack of topographic prominence. However, there's a good sized internet debate about the real prominence of Gio, which some people claim is 200, which is what is required to be a 4,000 footer, but never really know. Let's say AMC decides to do something about it. Should be getting relatively close to the summit of Mount Gio in the junction with the Boncliffe Trail. I'll meet you there unless they see something interesting along the way. Hell yeah. Anyway, we have reached the uh, basic summit area of Mount Gio. I think the true summit is over there, and that is where we will go. Oh man, I can't believe the view we're getting. Well, there I believe is South Twin. It's Garfield. I think it's Gale Head right there. And we got the Franconia Ridge, Lafayette, Truman, Lincoln's Little Haystack, Liberty, Flume. Up there is Owl's Head. Over there is West Bond. Right there is Mount Bond. Over there you got, I think, the Hancocks. Right there is Kerrigan, Vaux Spur, Kerrigan Notch, Mount Anderson, and Wall. It's just an all around awesome view. Now let's see how the view is from West Bond after you take it. Alright, we've reached the junction with the Bond Cliff Trail. Now Gio and West Bond are that way. So, we are going to continue that way. And I'll meet you farther up this trail. Man, what an amazing ridge to walk on. Above the from all directions. What do you think this far? Oh, it's awesome. One of my favorites for sure. Same here. Glad I decided to go to West Bond this way. Although, the Bond Cliff Trail from Lincoln Woods is pretty nice too. But man, it's tough to be You're currently this. standing on the south summit of Mount Gio. Over there is actually the true summit, according to uh, my map. Man, it's an all around. If there's nothing else worth seeing at the junction with the West Bond Spur. Hiking through the call between Gio and the Bond. Pretty mellow walk. Although we'll see once you begin the ascent to uh, West Bond. Now I'll meet you at the junction with the West Bond Spur. Alright, we've reached the junction with the Gio Campsite Spur. Gio Campsite is 0.2 miles and 250 uh, vertical feet of elevation loss down that way. We're not going that way, at least not now. Going that way, toward the West Bond Spur. Didn't know this at first, but we are going to enter the Pemigewasset Wilderness right about now. Yeah. Yeah. Ready to summit this thing? Yeah. Number 47 for me and number 5 for you. Let's get her done. Let's get her done. Well, we've reached the junction with our final leg of the ascent. West Bond Spur. Bond Cliff Trail continues that way to uh, Mount Bond. Oh, you're going down there. The bag map, 47, 4,000 footer. Now I'll meet you farther down this trail. Right, we are currently working our way up West Bond on the West Bond Spur Path. Pretty mellow so far, although we'll see what happens once you actually begin to climb up to the summit. Now we'll meet you once we get there, if nothing else interesting happens. Well, we've done it. Yeah, yeah! We've reached the summit of my 47, 4,000 footer, and Mr. Ray's Five. fifth. Five! Done did it! Not an easy one to get for your fifth, either. Oh, man, this view is freaking incredible. Self went over there. Scalehead, somewhere. Garfield, looks like I hiked in March of uh, this year. Lafayette, Truman. Lincoln, Little Haystack, Flume, Liberty, or Liberty and Flume. Out there is Owl's Head, which I hiked uh, last July. The person from Hiking Hampshire. Out there is the famous Bond Cliffs, where most people get their Bonds, Bond pick. Over well, there, you got Mount Bond, and it's a uh, lower south, uh, northern sub peak. Over there is Gio. Cell twin, and oh, there I think you got some of the presidential range. 
out there is Kerrigan, Bow Spur, Kerrigan Notch, a little sliver of Mount Anderson poking its way through. Over there you got Mount Hancock. And right there is Loon Mountain. You got Scar Ridge going to the left, uh, the Osceola Ridge. And I think over there is Mad River Notch where the Greeley Ponds are. Just an all around awesome view, and I am really glad I saved this for 47. Most definitely. So, we are going to take our lunch break here, and then I think we're going to head back down. All right, I must have missed this on the way up. Don't know how I did, but I did. This is the true Zealand Falls. Definitely not the highest falls around, but still looks very, very uh, awesome nonetheless. So, we're gonna make our way to the trailhead. And I'll meet you there, assuming nothing interesting comes up. All right, we did it. 47's in the back. And number five for my friend Ray. Yes, um. Yeah, it was a, actually a pretty rough one. Uh, there are parts at times where it was nearly flat, but there are other times when it went straight up. So, 47 is in the bag, only one left. And that's Wildcat D. Yes, I'm talking to you, Wildcat D. I'm coming for you. You cannot run and you cannot hide. Be ready for my crew. So, from my buddy Ray, and me at the Zealand Trailhead, see you in my next adventure.